sure people are busy watching the time now. So thanks ever so much for the, the, discuss, the debate sessions. Uh, we thought because you had to pick one of three, we'd give you a very brief taste of what went on in the two you missed, so you can spend your entire journey home regretting your choice. Um, so first of all, Kate is going to introduce uh, what happened in her session. Can you hear me at the back? That's good. Um, we were the third group looking at um, how community engagement can influence uh, consumer behaviour. And we heard from fantastic example from locally here in Sheffield of a very, very successful uh, farmer's market. And it became apparent that we've got a wealth of small scale, increasingly resilient and sustainable local food projects. The challenge to us was presented is scaling that up and actually uh, competing with the perceived advantages of supermarkets. And we discussed a variety that might be a challenge. We have opportunity with deaf who have got a, a department. Uh, Graham was here with us in, in our group. Graham um, is now looking at sustainable behaviours. And uh, we have an opportunity to influence thinking as it's emerging within DEFRA about how we can uh, present our findings. Thinking. It's an opportunity. We also um, unearthed quite a lot of valuable evidence from individual projects, some of which is available online, and we'll make a note of it in the record of the event today. I think evidence is really important, but for example, the fact for uh, school children uh, going home and influencing parents' decisions about where they buy food and what type of food seems to be incredibly powerful. And it's accumulating the evidence from a variety of different project, projects, which is going to be our challenge. Um, I think we gave that message to Peter to take back to the Making Local Food Work group. Um, I was also asked to draw your attention to a publication which was available on the Making Local Food Work stall, but if it's all gone by now... Um, it has all gone. It is available online, and there's a very useful document about influencing behaviours, consumer behaviours, which um, I recommend to you. I've got a copy in my bag uh, to take home on the train. So thank you very much, Group 3. Okay, thanks a lot. And Morris, I think you're uh, leading on in your group. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, our group, we looked at, um, do you build food enterprises for people or for money? And, of course, very interesting topic that impacts on everything from strategy and, uh, and your purpose right down to the day-to-day -day, day -day pricing decisions and other decisions you make. A few things came out of it. Um, I hope this in no way reflects the tone of the discussion, but some key words were Tesco, McDonald's, psychopaths. They were not all linked together, but they popped up in the discussion. A few key points. Um, I think we concluded that the phrase not-for-profit is so last year. We came up with a few new ones, um, not just for profit, and more than profit. The point here being that um, profit is not a bad, necessarily a bad word. Um, it can serve a purpose in a, in a, in a community enterprise. Um, we, thought, we thought the model of business is broke, but it wasn't all bad. Um, and we have to be careful taking the moral high ground. There are other businesses in the mainstream food industry who are doing some good things. Um, we said being business-like was a good thing. The key thing is, what is your objective? What are you trying to achieve at the organisation? But there's nothing wrong with being business-like and pressing ahead uh, and driving that forward. Um, we talked about structure, and we made the point that choosing the right structure at the very beginning was a good way of locking in some of the things you want to do for the future. Uh, we touched on control and the fact that um, there was a view that communities need to step up, step up and take control. Um, consumers probably isn't going to be enough as they make their buying decisions. Communities need to step up to the plate. Um, and that was it, just a quick summary of what we talked. Very sort of emotional, but uh, pragmatic discussion, so thanks to everyone.
Thanks very much. And Jen, I think you're doing our, our third. Hello. Um, the third kind of debate panel was buying food by the book. Can consumers be assured of safe food from small producers? And are small producers at a dis disadvantage when it comes to legislation in the open market? And we had a few kind of key points on that. Um, one of them being actually about legislation, particularly you know across Europe and how it's interpreted. And oftentimes in this country, it is very much by the letter. And um, while in Europe, if you kind of look across to the neighbours and um, saying actually it's more about the spirit. So aren't we we kind of did a lot of comparisons of, of meat that needs, you know, incredible, lots of legislation. You can buy it. Small producers What do we do? You know, talk to them and give them assurances. Think about your own risks first of all, and then kind of share those risks with them of saying, you know, we've thought about this and this is what we think about it. Um, and being very optimistic about that and saying, you know, do talk to the councils. And we also really talked about actually talking to the customers and trying to actually influence perceptions on a consumer level being very important as well. Um, scaling up is hard. It is a problem. We've said, you know, it's oftentimes too hard, oftentimes not enough time in terms of talking about taking that next step in terms of production and things. Um, and, and one of the other things that was raised by one of the panel members is that oftentimes in other countries, small producers are, are valued as part of their her heritage and actually feel valued as that country. And she said, really, she doesn't feel that way here. And it's actually, again, kind of a challenge for us to kind of encourage people of saying, you know, this is a really great thing. So that was kind of what we talked about in terms of legislation and small producers. Thanks, Dr. Jim. So any burning points or questions flowing from uh, those uh, very succinct summaries? Or are we uh, all about there with it? So I hope, certainly hope you found the debates useful. Well, that goes in, that brings us about, about to the end. Um, obviously, as ever, these events don't happen by accident. Um, and you really would like to thank uh, a number of people, though I'm not going to go through them by names, it's not the Oscars. Uh, but in particularly the team within Plunkett that's pulled together the core of the event. You know who you are, but you're really sort of going to be on to um, Make a Local Focus is very much a partnership, and we're delighted to about how many of the partners on the project have also helped to shape today and support today. So thank you ever so much for that. We're delighted with the range of contributors um, as well. We deliberately try to get lots of different people here to hear lots of voices, but each of them has given up time and given support there, so really appreciate that. Uh, and also, none of this would be possible without the big lottery. Um, the, the support for us on making local food work has been tremendous. One of the things I just love about these events is the sheer buzz we get of people here. I think one of the reasons we get that is the fact that this isn't a commercial activity. We can encourage them to be here rather than those that can afford to. Um, so delighted, therefore, you could come. Um, often when you're chair, you get given some messages to read out at the end that you think, oh, God, do I really have to? But I'm pleased to read this one because we have been encouraging collaborative supply um, as part of the project. So I'm delighted to say there is a good example of collaboration of supply in that a number of colleagues from the conference have said they will be gathering in the pub in, on platform one of the station after, if you'd like to continue the conversation. I think it's Sheffield Arms, am I right there? So good collaboration and ensuring plentiful uh, supply of uh, local ales uh, hopefully um, to you. So if you fancy carrying on the conversations, platform one. Other than that, thanks ever so much for your contributions through the day. Do keep in contact, do keep you know, engaged with making local food, work on the wider activity around it. We're all still very much learning, and I think all, you know, the stronger we are, the more we can actually learn together from that. So I hope you've got something from today. Really wish you a safe journey home, but thanks very much for your contributions, and make today a success. Thanks a lot. Can I just provide a very, very quick plea? Um, we do try to get the